Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today in this video, we are going to learn about the spline in Creo. Now, let us go to our video section. Spline is also, also called as a special line. Uh, spline is used to draw a uneven profiles like a pipeline routes are created through the spline command. The spline curve, uh, it won't depend on any line or any arc. In few times, we use this spline to shape some profile which is not possible to make through any arc or line. Sometimes, arc we need to bend to make some irregular shape or profile. At that area, we normally use this spline. Spline we can understand in two ways. One is a PV line and another one is a fixed point. That is interpolation point. First PV line. Uh, it is used to convert the tangential curvature. Second one is uh, interpolation point. That is fixed point. Number of points are used to control the curvature. This interpolation points are used to create a spline with the direction and tangential. I will explain you with one example. First, let us click on the references and click on the spline. First, I am going to pick the starting point of the spline and second interpolation point and I am going to create a third interpolation point. This is some fourth and this is five, fifth interpolation. Sp spline is created through this number of interpolation points. We can control this spline through uh, this interpolation points. Interpolation points can be controlled with a dimension. Uh, I'm going to create a dimension to control this interpolation point. If you change the value of this interpolation point, we can change the profile of this spline shape. This spline shape we can control through this interpolation point. See spline shapes are getting changed when the interpolation points are changed. Uh, this spline is formed uh, depends on this uh, line interpolation points so that when we control this line interpolation point spline shape getting changed if you double click on this line on this interpolation point there are a number of methods to control this spline interpolation first uh, by default we have created a spline uh, through this method modify spline using interpolation point in by using this interpolation ch point changing method we mod modified the shape of the spline and another there are two methods are there one is to control the uh, polygon mode control point drive the spline define uh, to define if you click on this method you will get this vertex uh, over the spline that is some uh, imaginary line over the spline uh, we can control the shape of the spline through this uh, uh, vertex or this imaginary point dimension to control the uh, spline shape if we change this uh, vertex 
vertex point we can change the shape of the spline see spline shape is getting changed this method they call it as control over vertex method through this method there is no controlling with the dimension uh, by clicking on the point we can move the spline shape and uh, these two methods are same uh, here we can control through the dimension and one more option is called uh, curvature analysis tool through this tool uh, we can change the density of the spline for example now the density is 15 if we change this into 25 the density is getting changed here you can see if I change this 50 the density of the spline is getting changed then the scale scale value We can change the scale value of the spline here. By, uh, by using this tool, uh, curvature analysis tool, we can control the scale and the density. And in the same tab, point is available. Uh, in this controlling, uh, controlling through the point, from this coordinate, uh, local coordinate system there is another tab is fit this fit type is used to smooth the spline if I give this x value the spline direction is getting smoother this is the way spline is get created uh, first method uh, we used is controlling through interpolation point and uh, second method we used is controlling through curvature on vertex point <laughs> this through two methods we can control the spline shape in Creo I will create one another example, one example of the spline. Go to the sketch, the any one plane. Click on the spline, uh, first starting point of the plane, spline. Like this way, number of control interpolation points we created uh, to the spline with the irregular shapes. Like this, splines are created through the Creo. If you like this video, please share to your friends and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.